I'm a farmer. I know what cow chips smell like. Russell Balwig knows the perfect cow chip when he sees one. This one ain't too bad either. He has to pick about three to four hundred of these every year for the annual cow chip throwing festival. They're throwing cow poo. Wouldn't be my first choice, but a solid number two. These are some of the nicest ones we've gotten all year. You might think that they can just pick any old cow chip for people to throw. But there is a science behind this. Ooh, I think it's going to be a little soft, though. A solid explanation. And we just can't hold it in. Needs to be fairly thick, dense, and you like them probably eight inches, ten inches around would make a very nice cow chip. The ones they pick have to be just right. Pick them up like that. They have to come from specific cows. They don't get any corn because they have to have grass, which is a lot of fiber, which makes the chips stick together. They have to be dry enough to throw like a Frisbee. Throw them a long ways, people do, 200 and some feet. Not too soft. And here you see how dark it is. That is way too wet to be able to pick up. But enough to be able to dry in time for the festival. This is really nice and thick, nice density to it. And it might even have a, it's, you know, it's a little oblong, but then some people like that for a handle that you can throw it like a Frisbee. You might think that this is not the job for you, oh. but for Russell. We tell people they can lick their fingers if they want to, but not too many people do that. His passion for it is explosive. That's, I think it's really unique because it's just something different that it's very few people in the United States or the world that actually do this. And now you know where the perfect cow chips come from. So that's what we do. In Sauk City. This one's going to be kind of soft for the year, but it should dry out really nice and we just use it for next year. Jamie Perez, News 3 Now. The truck's going to be full.